Hi gang, this is one of my movies in the Tech Pack series, and in this one we are going to talk about how to scale details for callouts. So we're going to cover how to enlarge an element and then put it into a clipping mask. Let's get started. Alright, so here's my flat, and I need to make some callouts for the Tech Pack. So I'm going to start with the black arrow, I'm going to hold my Alt or Option key, and I'm going to drag a copy. Then I'm going to double click on the Scale tool and it's going to open this options window and here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure we scale this uniform and I'm going to go with 200 so it's twice as big. If you don't make your call out at least twice as large as the original flat, it's just not worth doing. I even go up to 3 and 400 percent sometimes depending upon the detail element that I'm using. Now here's the important part. Down here where it says scale strokes and effects, by default that's not checked. We need to check it so it makes everything in our sketch bigger. And now I can click OK. Now that I have this enlarged to the size I want it, we're going to make a clipping mask. So I'm going to move this down a little bit and I'm going to grab my ellipse tool. With my ellipse tool, I'm going to go ahead and draw a circle around the part that I want to enlarge. So I'm going to click and drag, and if I don't like the placement of this, I can hold my space bar while my mouse key is still depressed, which will allow me to move this to another location. So I'm going to get this where I want it, maybe make it just a little bit bigger, and we'll put it right over here, and now I'll release my mouse. Now the trick to making a clipping mask is the object that you want to put it in, or let's call that the container, needs to be on top. So I'm going to fill this with white um, just so we can see it more clearly. Now my container is on top. I'm going to select the container along with the flat. And then I can right click, make clipping mask. And that's going to put this enlarged piece of my flat inside the container. But you'll notice when we do this, we lose the outline of the container. The way to get that back is to select the white arrow and click on the edge of the container. So I can find it by just hovering my mouse over it. Now I'll click. If I hit D for default, it'll restore my black stroke and my white fill. So now I've got the outline for the container. We'll go back to the black arrow. I'm going to move it into place. And the last thing I like to do is connect it to the flat just to make it a little bit clearer of where this enlargement is coming from. To do that, I switch to the pen tool. So we'll release this, we'll select the pen tool, and I'm going to start with the lower point here, which is a little bit uh, down my sleeve. So I'm going to click there on my flat, and I'm going to click, uh, if I can, to that point on my callout. Then I'm just going to go to the other side of the callout, and since it's coming back down to here, this part of the sleeve, I'm just going to click down a little bit lower over here and then to that part of the sleeve. And now I'm going to make sure there's no fill on that. I'm going to go over to my properties, click on the strokes, and I'm going to go down to profile and select this profile right here so that the edges are thinner. And I can even change my stroke weight to two points just to beef it up a tiny bit. And now it looks like this. Last step is to send this to the back so we don't see this line in front of the callout. So right click, arrange, and send it back. And that is all there is to making a callout in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.